Hello again everyone, welcome again to another paper airplane tutorial M3 and today I'm going to teach you how to make a new paper airplane this primary. This is my new design and it's fly very well indoor. To make the paper airplane you need a piece of your slightly sized paper, you can also try for paper. And now let's fold the paper in half. When you fold the paper in half, make sure that all edges are lined up. And when all edges are lined up, just press down to create the center crease. Then unfold the paper. Now start from the top edge, fold it to the other edge. And of course, when all the edges are matched perfectly, press down to create the diagonal crease. And then repeat the same fold for the other side. Now let's start from the other edge, the other side, fold it to this side and rest out to create another crease and now let's flatten the paper and i will turn the paper this way flip the paper over and now i can imagine that i have a line from this intersection to the other intersection and start from the top edge for down to that line and rest out to create another crease and now you can see that all creases are crossed at one point. You just use that point as a preference and for that like I'm doing now. Now you have a house now you have a house shape. Now uh, open the first layer, pull it to the other side, and start from the edge, fold it to the center crease. Fold the layer back and repeat the same fold for the other side start from the top, the edge for it to the center crease and then imagine that you have a a point right here and for the in an estimation this is about one inch and now after you fold that layer out you can start from the very bottom foot up and repeat the same fold for the other side to fold the other side perfectly I will turn the paper over and use the other edge the edge I fold already as a preference and fold this side out match edge to edge and start from the very bottom foot up and insert the corner into the pocket so if you stuck please go back to the previous fold now let me flip the paper over and I'll start from this layer I will fold out just a little bit when I fold out I want to make sure that uh, the just follow the step I'm doing now I just fold up a little bit so I adjust it until um, this layer up and you can see that I adjust it a little bit more so that the uh, corner here create a 90 degree to the edge and now you can just fold this part out and repeat the same fold for the other side use the previous edge uh, the fold the edge from the other part as a preference and fold this side out after you finish both sides just flip the paper over and now for this layer fold to the other side again And on the following step, start from the top edge, fold it to the center crease or the body of the plan. And just fold out this part, repeat the same fold for the other side. So start from the edge, fold it to the body of the paper plant. And you can press it down, make sure that you press it down hard. and unfold or refold the body of the airplane now I'm going to teach you how to create the uh, the cabin of the airplane and it's a little bit difficult so imagine that you have a line from this side and the other side and it's crossed somewhere here and um, use both your hands to press down the paper it may be very difficult at first so to slowly press it down slowly for one side and then repeat the same fold for the other side when you fold the other side 
adjust the paper slowly so that you can fold both sides perfectly. So when you can push down the center of the airplane or the body of the airplane, you can just put it down and now let's create the wings. You can use the edge, two edges as a preference to fold to create the wings. So you can see this edge for this top and curve the paper and curve the paper then fold it up. When you finish one side you can fold the other side. Same thing. Use the other side as a preference to fold. And now you just finish the wings of the paper air blend. Wow, we just finished the body of the paper airplane and now I'm going to teach you how to create the elevator and the uh, stabilizers of the paper airplane. Now let's start from this point and pull the paper up. When you pull the paper up, uh, do it slowly so that you will not wreck the body of the airplane. Uh, finish that part and uh, let's fix the wings a little bit and start from the upper part here. Uh, this mini wings we can fix this and help the try to help the airplane fly more stable. So uh, let's fold it. Follow the stem doing now. I'll start from the very top of what back and forth, back and forth, and uh, I insert I push down the edge into the body of the the wings and then I take it out and uh, fold it down. You can just follow the stem doing now. And uh, and after you put or uh, you push the edge in in toward of the, the the wings. You can just fold both sides both sides of the, the wings back and you can have a very nice shape as you can have for both sides up there and at the very end of the paper airplane um, the stabilizers I'll fold the stabilizer down to create the elevator of the airplane so the elevator of this paper airplane is also the stabilizer so uh, fold back and forth and then um, Fold it a little bit more actually, and then um, start from. You can see how I do it. I will just uh, fold both side down and then put up. And then after you create the crease, you can start from the top edge, fold it to that crease again. And now you can just push down the center to create the elevator. So you can flatten the paper down. You can flatten the elevator. Uh, to do this part, you need to follow this step carefully. And you can see at the very, very end of the uh, wings, I will, I will curve it up a little bit to make sure that the airplane will fly well. So let's take a look at this. And here you go. This is the um, supremary. Uh, to make it fly well at the very end of the wings, just fold it up to create another uh, two more stabilizers, one for each side. And when you finish this part, you can just test it out. And if the paper airplane fly well for you, give the video a thumb up, share the tutorial with your friends, and subscribe all my channels for more awesome videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.